Hi engineering janta I am Vaipav Shukla and today we'll be going ahead and discussing how to prepare for TCS on campus 2025 because in a lot of campuses TCS has notified that they are coming and along with that a lot of campuses are expecting TCS to come so for the on campus I'll explain you everything how you can go ahead and get hired in TCS so basically the whole point is how to prepare for the TCS on campus so that when TCS comes at your end, you're super ready for it. Now, before I proceed further, you can follow me on this particular Instagram handle, Adir Chuklaji Speaks, so that you can connect to me directly if you want to ask anything. Let's move forward and let's first of all visit the social media links that are very, very important for you. Follow all these links of Pepinsta social media handles because here you get hiring updates, here you get various updates related to some useful videos, some useful resources. So that might give you an edge over your competition and top 3 comments might stand a chance to win the Prep Insta Prime subscription for free. Now, moving ahead. TCS primarily hires in 3 roles, Ninja, Digital and Prime. Ninja is generally in 3.36 LPA to 3.53 LPA value. And Software Tester Java developer, web developer, Python developer, software operations associate. Generally, those profiles which are, even if you are seeing Java developer, these profiles are based on the old technologies of Java. Okay. So, Ninja is one of the most sought after profiles for those people who are wanting to just grab any job. Okay. But that's not the best profile that TCS offers. The best profile that TCS offers is Prime, which is 9 LPA and 11.5 LPA. Now, what's the difference? 11.5 is for postgraduates, 9 is for graduates. And you get cutting edge domains here cybersecurity, genia engineering, artificial intelligence, a lot of cutting edge technologies you get here. In digital, you have 7 LPA and 7.3 LPA. Again, the postgraduate and graduate difference. So, graduate would be earning 7 LPA, postgraduate would be earning 7.3 LPA. Full stack developer, back end developer, DevOps, Salesforce, SAP intermediate domains which are relevant in industry now and down the line five years some of them might vanish some of them still would remain fine so these are three primary profiles that we case offers you anybody who's preparing you should always target prime by shoot for the moon you land among stars we'll go ahead and we'll look at how the skeleton of the selection works so you generally give an online test which is based on aptitude and coding then you have basically top 1% people entering the TCS Prime interview. Generally, it is 1.5 hours of interview. And based on your performance, you are allotted the role. If you are clearing it with flying colors, you will end up in Prime. If you are not clearing it with flying colors, you might end up in Digital or Ninja. Right? Top 5% would go ahead to TCS Digital interview. And top 20% would get to TCS Ninja interview. Now, 35 to 45 minutes is the general duration of Ninja and in digital you have one hour. But the interesting thing is 80% people are getting rejected straight away in the online test portion only. The reason is aptitude and code. Fine. A big portion is aptitude. Why am I saying so? Aptitude is generally that gatekeeper that helps companies to filter out the best possible candidates for their particular domains. Okay. But here, yeah. when people practice coding intensively and lose out on aptitude, they do not end up in interviews. Henceforth, I would request all of you, go ahead. Daily one hour of aptitude should be devoted in any case. Okay. That is very, very important. Now, the hiring process generally, as I explained, online test, then you have a technical interview panel, managerial interview panel, and HR interview panel. This generally is combined in one interview only nowadays. Right? But nowadays when it is combined in one interview, what happens is generally the total interviews become three. Okay. But in the managerial interview panel or in this technical interview panel that we're talking about and generally it is clubbed between a single round. A lot of times it happens in on campus. So on campus sees this variation. Sometimes you have two different interviews. Sometimes you have one interview. So that depends. If there are two people in your panel, they might take a club round. Fine. So that's how the TCS hiring process goes on. Now, in the online test, you have a foundation section and then 
post this foundation section, you have an advanced section. For foundation section, 75 minutes is the total time and this is mandatory for Ninja profile. If you perform good in advanced section, then you'll be shortlisted for digital and prime profile and this is mandatory for it. Total time is 90 minutes in advanced section. In foundation section, you have three subsections, numerical ability, reasoning ability, verbal ability. All of 25 to 25 minutes and numerical and reasoning ability have 20, 20 questions and verbal ability has 25 questions. Where as in advanced section, you have generally advanced words plus logical, which is combined together and 25 minutes and 15 questions. Now, the major portion lies here because it is not this particular test that is going to get you the bigger profiles. It is this particular portion. Okay. Now, advanced quants plus logical. If you carefully see, 25 minutes, 15 questions, which means that 15 questions are generally having this ratio for time so if I divide it out by you um, 3 by 5 so it is generally this ratio which is 0. 0.6 right this is 0. 0.6 so in this ratio you have question and time generally the time is more right per question if I calculate the time then what would we get very simple the answer to it is very simple you basically get somewhere around this part of 3.6. This would be something around. Yeah, 3.6, correct. So, somewhere around 3.6, right? So, what, pardon, 1.6. So, this would be the general type that you get. And this is enough time. I'm not kidding. This is enough time to solve a aptitude question. But when it is advanced aptitude or advanced words, this time becomes less. Why am I saying so? These questions would be unprecedented. These would be difficult questions. And henceforth, you will not know exactly that when the time elapsed of a one particular question, you might spend three minutes on one question. And then the further subsequent questions that are coming would become even more difficult. Not because the question is inherently tough. Not because of that. They would be tough because you're going ahead, having paucity of time and you're practicing a lot. Fine. You have paucity of time you're practicing a lot of tricks and tips here on a single question and in lesser time it is usually very difficult to calculate something because of pressure right so that pressure would make it even more difficult now when i go to coding portion here you have three questions one is generally easy fine one is medium and the other one is medium to hard fine and medium to not very hard i would say moderately hard this is moderately hard so how do you go ahead and prepare for this very simple first of all take a screenshot of all this for numerical ability you have complete sections you have complete topics to cover for advanced quantitative aptitude you have complete topics to cover okay this is for foundation section fine and this is for particular section of advanced Want to daily up to fine. So you have generally 20 questions here, 15 minutes, and you have 12 to 16 questions. Fine. 12 to 16 questions are generally the cutoff. You go ahead. Fine. Uh, pardon. Here, 25 minutes is there now, not 15 minutes. It is 25 minutes. Fine. So you solve it out. The cutoffs are written here. Percentages, time box, search indices, simple interest, compound interest. Such questions generally appear in advanced quantitative aptitude. Okay. Post this, go ahead in reasoning, prepare for coding, decoding. Very, very important. Cubes, cuts and folds, blood relations, arrangements, data sufficiency, statements and assumptions. There's a reason why these are polled. Fine, there's a reason. The reason particularly for this is they are being repeated a lot of times in on-campus. Henceforth, you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this as well. Fine. Here also, advanced reasoning arrangements, Venn diagrams, data sufficiency. Statement and assumptions, very, very important, very important, specifically statements and assumptions. Do prepare it well. You will always have at least two questions in your complete exam, right? Moving ahead, you have verbal ability, we are reading comprehension, sentence correction, sentence completion, error identification. All this is there, grammar. And generally, the most common things that are seen is reading comprehension and error identification, which carry the maximum marks. 
so you should focus more upon these particular topics now daily 1 hour of aptitude if you can devote 1.5 hour fine right? so 1 to 1.5 hour of aptitude practice which involves quants logical as well as verbal would help you prepare better if you go ahead you can also try out prepinstaprime.com where you have complete structured courses i and for that i'm giving you the coupon code you can go ahead nowadays there is a sale going on bev of 80 80% you would get as a discount and this coupon would be active for limited time only most probably by sunday this by sunday evening or by monday morning this would cease to exist right so 80% off is generally available i'll show you so if i go ahead and if i open this up so i show you this so prep in star prime is what you can open and then if you see the get prime button right on get prime for example 36 months actually is 30000 right 30000 sub rupees is the price but when you apply this coupon code web hub kt by on you need to do is web hub kt and when you apply it out you get a discount of 34000 rupees right so this 80% discount would be available most probably by sunday evening or monday morning only so you must go ahead and get your discounts from here and get enrolled here for a structured preparation here you will have proper dcs courses for yourself dcs and qt course complete as desired for the sir find also on prepinstart.com you can go ahead and check out the previous year questions okay you can check out previous year papers on prepinstart.com and it is a free blog based website so that would help you out now moving ahead in coding question the coding question 1 would generally have basic so working with numbers looping basic recursion arrays uh, number conversion strings patterns all this would be in coding basics and that can be covered using top 100 codes which is free of cost again for you previous year papers of prep of tcs on prepinstar.com free of cost for you and full length mocks if you want or you want complete structured code course explaining you everything you want a very structured detailed manner of questions that should be asked full length mocks that is all available on ripinstaprime.com that i showed you by right? also the beginner coding which is the basic coding and intermediate coding would help you in the coding basics which is the question 1 of uh, the exam and generally these two courses would be enough for it but when you move to the question 2 and 3 you would need advanced practice you would need advanced strings dynamic programming ready programming backtracking hashing sorting searching a lot of details graphs trees tries bit manipulation knapsack problem a lot of things which are advanced right so prepinstar.com has previous year papers has dsc in competitive coding pages but i would suggest you going on top 150 not out questions and i have shown it enough times i'll show you again by right? top 150 not out is a page where free of cost i have made a list of 150 patterns fine right? these are not just questions these are 150 new patterns or the only patterns which exist in any company's interview fine right? so if you know these 150 questions on your fingernails you can crack any company in this world and not just tcs you can crack oracle adobe mang fang whatever comes your way fine right? but you have to revise it a lot these would require a basic preparation of dsa right and for that you can go ahead and access prepinstaprime.com as well if you want to or learning the dsa in your favorite language otherwise if you know the basics of dsa go ahead attempt this list out it is free of cost i'll show you fine so i'll show you this particular list as well 150 not out that's all you need to search and you'll enter this top 150 not out page you go ahead and you solve any question you like find there are topics which are available here and all these topics you can cover in a detailed manner here the questions that you practice would help you clear any company and i'm not kidding on this going ahead if i go further than this then there's a detailed pattern that i want to explain you basically that is generally followed the profile so if ninja in ninja if you complete two complete coding questions fine if you pass on the test cases for two questions you get a call from ninja generally even in one question sometimes you 
get a call in ninja but in digital you need to pass at least two questions properly with all test cases and one with partial test cases anybody who passes all three questions with full test cases and performs great in aptitude would be called for prize right so it is simple meritocracy you need to practice a lot right post this you'll be having interview where you would be asked about cs fundamentals you would be asked about your projects you would be asked about the dsa problems you would be asked about your skills you would be asked what exactly are you inclined towards fine and some gd and hr question gd would not generally happen hr questions would happen some puzzles would be given some guesstimates would be given and most importantly a lot would be focused on this particular portion of dbms sql oscn sdlc the reason is these particular topics are actually those topics which show your sincerity in college okay so as an individual i would like to know whether you are sincere enough fine in your work or in your commitments so that would provide me a fair square idea of it right so that's pretty much about interview and this is also fully available on prepinstaprime.com if i show you that it is completely available in a structured manner aisa nahi hai ki free mein taiyari nahi hoti dhoom dham se hoti hai let me tell you you can also prepare in free but the point is you'll have to do a lot of extra effort that has already been done on prepinsta prime so why to invent a wheel as simple as that fine when you can actually access all the 200 plus courses in single subscription along with that if i show you here there is a track for big four companies tracks for tcs nqt you see so you simply click on this tracks for tcs nqt and you would have a complete track here to prepare from very basic aptitude to interview preparation everything dsa competitive coding skills projects core subjects languages everything at one place right so that can help you out on that note i would tell you one thing nothing can beat hard work and a lot of times people say do the smart work but the smart work comes when you have done a lot of hard work right so on that note i leave you guys keep doing good for others as i always say and keep preparing hard without any expectation do good for others good will come back to you have a wonderful day ahead bye bye